Oh, hi beautiful soulmates welcome back to my channel today i am going to be sharing with you guys how to make this beautiful kaftan dress with a scrub v neckline it is very simple and if this is what you seem interested in please stay glued until the end of this tutorial so i have my very beautiful ankara print on the table and i folded it into four I'm going to still make use of a paper to illustrate what I have right on the table because because of the size of my table you might not be able to see what I've actually folded and you can see I've marked out the shoulder line okay which we call the baseline and right here I folded it into four so this is my paper and this part of the paper signifies the length which is 45 inches and the other side is the yardage so i'm not going to be folding like this i'm going to fold along the yardage and after i fold into two like that i'm going to fold into four again so that is what i actually have on the table okay so from here we are going to use our measuring tape and then extend along the vertical axis and then mark out the bust point right here i made use of 10.5 inches and still leaving my tape on the shoulder line i'm going to mark down to 17 inches which is the waistline okay still leaving my tape right on the baseline again i'm going to mark down to 25 inches which is the hip line and then also still leaving my tape right at the baseline i'm going to mark down to 59 inches which is going to be the length of this beautiful gown okay and i'm going to be adding two inches for the hemming allowance so once you are done with that go ahead and draw your lines across okay and then cut out the excess now you are going back to the shoulder line and then divide your shoulder into two okay so i've divided mine and i have 7.5 inches now because this is a booboo gown i have made several tutorial on how to measure if you are to cut out a cut together booboo gown place your tape at the middle of your neck and then stretching your hand forward measure where you want the length of your sleeve to be okay so and that is what we did so leaving our tape right on the shoulder point you're going to extend your tape where you want your sleeve to be and once you are done with that you're going to go ahead and come down by one inch which is the shoulder slope and for you to find your chest line you're going to from the shoulder line come down by 8.5 inches mine is 8.5 inches i'm not saying it's standard okay so to get yours you are going to have to divide your bust circumference by 6 plus 1.5 inches and once you are done with that go back to the shoulder line again and mark out your neck width and your neck depth okay now for this tutorial i'm going to be using a neck width of 3.5 inches and then for the back depth i'm going to make use of 1.5 inches again for the front width i made use of same 3.5 inches and the length i made use of 8 inches now after i mark out the 8 inches i came in by half inch okay because this is going to be a stylish v neck line so after i came in by half an inch i went ahead to use my curve ruler to connect all my lines now let me explain something about this half an inch you can see i'm using my straight ruler to connect into the half an inch that is basically because this our fabric is on fold by the time we open it up we are going to be having one inch okay so once you are done with all of this go ahead and connect your shoulder slope into the neck line okay and then down to the chest line okay 
Now we are going to take our body measurement. So on the bust point, you're going to have to divide your bust circumference by four. Mark whatever you have, input the ease allowance. So for my ease, I'm making use of 1.5 inches. And then I would add one inch for my sewing allowance. I'll go ahead and connect this into the chest line, just like you can see me doing. Okay. Now, once you are done with that, go down to the waist line. Divide your waist circumference by four, add your ease allowance and then your stitching allowance. Go down to the hip, divide your hip circumference by four, add up your ease allowance plus your stitching allowance. And then going down to the full length of the gown, you are going to have to measure whatever you have on the hip line and bring it down to the length of the gown okay so if you're having about 15 inches on the hip line go ahead and mark it on the hem line and connect all your lines together so guys i want to have a pocket on this my gown so what i'm going to do is to place my tape on the waist of this my gown and then measure down to seven inches okay so that is how deep i want my pocket to look and then i'm going to go back to the shoulder and then insert my shoulder stitching allowance and i made use of half an inch i'm going to connect all these lines together and then we cut out our gown so you guys i am cutting this out and please guys if at this point you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe turn on your post notification to get notified once i upload a new video okay and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it helps us to get rich to more people okay i'm going to go ahead and move over to the neck and we first of all cut out the back neck i'm going to remove one piece of this dress and then cut out the front neckline now after i cut it out i'm going to go down to the waist again and place my notches on the pocket point okay so that i won't get myself confused so guys this is the front and we also have the back okay now to join the shoulder you are going to ensure that these two are right side facing each other and you are going to move over to your sewing machine and so using half an inch so after i stitch this this is what i have now guys next i'm going to go ahead and measure the round neck of my dress okay so i'm going to measure the round neck and whatever i have i'm going to add up extra one inch before cutting out the plain material i'm going to use to form my v neckline okay so we have a reason for adding this one inch you will still find out okay so whatever it is i have assuming you have about 13 inches remember this is on fold if you have about 13 inches meaning that if you open this up the round neck is going to be 26 inches so what i have here is 13.5 inches Meaning that if I want to cut out this plain material, I'm going to cut out about 19.5 inches, okay, including the one inch that I told you about. So what I have right here, the length is 19.5 inches and the width is 2 inches. 2 inches in the sense that I'm going to use half an inch for my sewing allowance and the remaining 1.5 inches is going to be the width of this plain fabric after i sewed into the dress okay 
so if you notice i notch the center of my neck and also notch the center of the strap so i'm going to ensure that the center of the strap and the center of my gown the neck of my gown matches up and i'm going to use my pin to hold it down in place and then go ahead and sew around it okay so because of the one inch that we added up by the time we are done stitching this we are going to be left with about one inch okay and you guys if you want to stitch this down you are going to ensure that your stitches stops at about half an inch after the depth of your front neck i don't know if you are getting me so if you are not getting me just keep looking on the screen and you are going to understand exactly what i am explaining so you can see i've started sewing one part of this neckline i'm going to sew until i get to the depth of my front neck and i'm going to ensure that i pass the depth of my front neck with about half an inch okay before i backstitch so you guys you can see i'm about to backstitch and i'm going to raise up the plane strap so that you see what is left there you can see i am left with about half an inch so i'm going to turn through the other side and i'm also going to repeat the same thing i did on the other part so you guys you can see what i am doing and don't forget to sew this using half an inch and your strap and the neck of your dress must be right side facing each other okay so you guys the trick about this neckline is just know how to sew in your welt pocket if you already know how to sew your welt pockets you will find this very easy okay i don't know if you know what a welt pocket is but if you have been able to see men's trouser everybody have seen men's trouser so if you have seen that and you see this place that they normally put in their wallets okay that back pocket that is what is called a welt pocket if you already know how to do it or this pocket that we normally insert into our bomber jacket if you know how to fix that this neckline won't be an issue for you okay so guys i'm going to turn this so that you'll be able to see exactly what i am doing let me bring it up you can see that my stitches is half an inch after the depth of my neck okay so what i am going to do is to go ahead and notch diagonally and i'm going to ensure that my notches doesn't exceed my stitches okay please be careful if you exceed your stitches in this case you have damaged the neck of your dress okay So you have to be very careful right here and you are only going to notch on the ankara prints you have nothing to do with the plain material so you are going to have to insert this inward and ensure that one of the plain material overlaps the other and you are going to stitch like this this is one way you can achieve this but if you don't want to do that that way you can flip over to the right side just like i'm showing you right now and ensure that one of it they crosses each other and then stitch it up okay so now i'm right on my machine i'm going to ensure that they crosses each other and i'm going to stitch them up
so guys i'm going to go over to my table so that you can see very well what i have you can see and this is the front you can see how beautiful this is looking and you guys don't also forget to secure the rough edges using your weaving machine now that we are done with the neck we are going to go over to the sleeve okay now the width of this sleeve is about 15 inches i've cut out a strap for it so this my strap is about three inches and i folded in half an inch on both sides okay so this half an inch i'm going to use it to sew in the strap okay so what i'm going to do is to turn my dress okay and i'll be having right side of my plain fabric facing the wrong side of my ankara prints i'm going to sew using half an inch and then flip over to the right side and then stop stitch okay so i've sewed it and this is what i have i'm now going to again go over to my sewing machine and top stitch towards the right side so guys i finished top stitching and this is what i have for the two sleeve so guys it's time for us to insert our pocket this is my pocket if you want a detailed tutorial on how to cut out your pocket and fix into your dress you let me know and i will do the tutorial okay for now i'm going to rush it but i'm just going to explain a little so on that notch remember that i made a notch on the waistline you're going to have to insert your pocket pin it up by the side okay using about quarter of an inch and the and then go ahead to your sewing machine and use a stitch to hold it down okay after you hold it down you go ahead and sew this together so i've pinned up one side i'm going to go ahead and pin up the other side and if you're pinning these ensure that they are right side facing each other and also ensure that the pocket is facing towards the downside so that your hand can easily enter inside okay i don't know if you are understanding me so once you are done you go ahead and stitch up your side seam and when you get to the waist you cross over to the pocket and then down to the hem okay so now we are done i'm going to show you what i have this is my pocket i'm going to go ahead and then hem the down part and you guys this is it for this gown so the next you are going to see is our full gown on the mannequin so guys if this video was helpful please do give it a thumbs up share to get more people to see this particular video and i will see you in my next one bye